Tell me I'm wrong, Robert Darren. Take it away. Well, we've got, uh, you know, obviously the top two in the world are also the top two in the FedEx Cup. They're starting this week ahead of everyone else. So I'm saying, tell me I'm wrong. In an even money bet, I'm going to take the top two in the field, Rom, DJ, versus the other 28. Even money bet, I'm taking the top two. Uh, who dares defy me and tell me I'm wrong? You're wrong. No. Uh, you're wrong, Robert. And, and it's hard to bet against a Dustin Johnson the way that he's playing right now, or even, you know, obviously John Rahm coming off of the win last week. It's just so hard to not take the field in this one. Uh, Justin Thomas is as hungry as anybody out there. He sits in that third position. He knows exactly what it's like to hold a lead effectively for a five-day tournament, which is kind of what this is going to feel like for a Dustin Johnson and a John Rahm in that position uh, at the starting block. So it's very difficult for me to take anything other than the field, even though both of those players are as hot as anybody in the world right now. Robert, you're a good man. You're wrong. Mm. You're dead wrong here. And let me tell you why. I mean, Dustin Johnson, seven straight years, uh, you know, top, top ten finishes in the FedEx Cup without winning it. Last year, minus nine strokes gained approach the, at Tour Championship. Worst of his career. And you're also sleeping on guys like Justin Thomas, uh, Colin Morikawa, uh, Webb Simpson. Uh, this has not been Dustin Johnson's happy place. And, yes, he is playing phenomenally well, as is John Rahm. But I think there are too many players behind him. How about Bryson DeChambeau? Remember him? You were singing his praises uh, five minutes ago, <laughs> it, it seems, maybe five days or five weeks ago. But you know what I'm saying. Too many good players uh, that are on the heels of DJ and Rahm, who, by all accounts, could be exhausted after uh, the mental and physical test that was provided in Chicago this past week. They could be, but they are the kind of men who rise to these occasions and get the job done. Dustin Johnson, three top twos, including a win by 11 shots over his last three starts. He is an absolute stallion. And John Rahm, he's coming in with all the momentum in the world. Robert Dameron, you are a genius. I think right. you are right, <laughs> right on this point. And, you know, Morikawa, of course, is always in for a shot. He's in a great position there at... Uh, well, five and five. Only five shots back, which is where Rory started last year. Webb Simpson's rested. He is rested. Yes. But Morikawa, you know, it's all gravy for Colin. He's done mm. his job. He's won his first major championship at the PGA. He doesn't need to go and win the FedEx Cup uh, this week. So I think you're a genius, Robert. I'll take <laughs> Thank you. Said it, said it twice. It's make it doubly <laughs> as true. And to all, with all due respect to, you know, my colleagues, Paige and, and Damon, that was the most foolish bunch of rubbish I've ever heard in my life. Uh, <laughs> You've got Dustin Johnson starting two up on the field. He uh, shot 30 under uh, a week and a half ago, and he uh, is starting two up on Rom. He's got a six-shot lead on Berger, Bryson, Hideki, who are also favorites, seven on Rory, Reed, Xander. Uh, John Rom last week on the weekend shot 10 under, which is five better than anyone else on the weekend, and he's got a lead on, on everyone else as well. Uh, half the – actually – He's got a six-shot lead, uh, talking DJ, on 25 of the 29 other players in the field. That's just too much ground to make up on Dustin Johnson. And, and again, we're not just talking Dustin. There, there's a goalie in between everyone else and Dustin Johnson, and that's John Rahm who's playing incredible golf as well. Obviously, we saw it last week. Yeah, and I think you just actually made uh, Damon my point by saying how well John Rahm played on the weekend and was able to make up five shots on the field over two days. I think that's the point in this, this uh, you know, long four-day event. Even though it's a staggered start, there's a lot of golf left to be played. In fact, last year, Matt Kuchar kind of described it like the old Q school, the five-round tournament. If you told somebody they're four back on a five-round tournament, or excuse me, four rounds left to go after the first day, they say, you know, I've got plenty of time. We just have to be patient. And I think there's plenty of players following both DJ and Rom that will be patient in this yeah. setup. DJ and Rom haven't been to Q school in quite a while. Also true. <laughs> and Q school doesn't actually exist anymore either, but... <laughs> I think Dustin Johnson is a dangerous man heading into this week. Uh, ten shots above the bottom of the field, so it's a huge debate. A staggered start, something we never see anywhere else in, in the season, so it always creates great debates.